Hello, I'm Dr. Dan Gartenberg. I'm a cognitive psychologist, and I have a specialty in analyzing brain waves and using biofeedback. And that's why I'm very excited to test out this new device called the Neurosity Headset, or the Crown. Um, something that I really like about this device here is the electrodes. You can just snap them on and off here. And they have this unique design um, of it them being long, um, to address things like long hair, which is I have right now. They have shorter ones for folks that have shorter hair. Um, and this gets a really good read of the electrical currents in, um, in your scalp that you can measure um, better than if it was a normal designed electrode and a really good form factor to get around your head. So you wear it like this, and it's designed to read your brain waves and get you into a sh uh, focus mode. They call it shifting into focus. So while you're listening to this, it'll be measuring your brain, um, and it'll play certain sounds designed to entrench this focus state. So you listen to it, and that helps you get ready to address work later on. And I'm gonna try to do a round of work tonight, and so we'll see if I can shift into focus. So what we're gonna do um, to see how well this thing actually works is compare shifting into focus with neurosity to how neurosity re reads my brain waves um, if I'm doing something like looking through Instagram, which is basically the opposite of shifting into focus mode. So I'm gonna compare listening to the focusing sounds in neurosity, and then I'm gonna compare that with um, swiping through Instagram. And so here we will first start with shifting into focus mode. Um, I really like this dopamine wave sound that they have in this genre electronic. And the first thing that it's gonna do is make sure it's on my head property, properly and get a baseline reading here. Um, first they need to measure the signal quality. Um, make sure it's pretty good. I think that's good. And then I'm around neutral right now in my focus state. Um, so they're first gonna record my baseline. I'm supposed to be comfortable. I'm gonna close my eyes when we do this and I will record my baseline. Okay, so now I am in shift into focus mode. So I'm going to focus on the sounds and I will see you in five minutes. Okay, coming out of it here, I definitely do feel, I think, a little more focused for sure. Um, and it turns out I did shift into focus mode. Um, so you can see the brain waves here comparing baseline um, to focus mode. And as you can see here, I am significantly above the baseline. Uh, so this is demonstrating that I, I was able to shift into focus mode. Yeah, so now we're gonna see how we compare this to when I'm scrolling through Instagram. So I'm gonna take a little bit of break and then make that comparison. Okay, now we're back and we're going to compare um, scrolling through Instagram with what I just did with using the dopamine, the, uh, the dopamine wave to shift into focus at 1050. Um, and so I had 67% focus in that round. So let's compare this now to, I'm not going to listen to the, to the music at all. What I'm going to do is simply scroll through Instagram. And what we'd hope to find is that there's less shifts into focus when I'm doing something on Instagram compared to when I'm listening to this biofeedback from Neurosity. And that's gonna help us validate that this thing really works. So here is the test now. I'm about to go into baseline mode. I'm gonna turn down the volume.
Okay. So now I'm going to make sure I don't hear any sound. And you'll see my Instagram habits here. I'm just going to scroll through Instagram for five minutes. And we will see what my brain thinks. So this is one of the worst things that you can actually do um, before bed. But as a mad scientist like myself, I'm willing to do it for the knowledge of it all. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I think I feel about the same. Up, oh, and as predicted, I did not shift into focus this time. Um, as you can see here, my score was not different from baseline. So this does suggest that there is some good signal here. Um, I guess the focus score isn't necessarily something that you should look at, but whether or not you were better or worse than baseline. So I was, I guess, a little bit more focused because I had previously done the exercise, but it did read correctly um, that I wasn't able to enter into focus mode during that session. So there's really some signal here in Neurosity being able to push you into focus mode and also detect when you are in this focus mode. So that is my quick analysis and I'll have uh, more evaluation later for a real study that we're doing with more than 40 people over a two week period of time. So I'll keep you posted on how it works and how um, Biofeedback can revolutionize the way we process the world and improve our well-being and ability to concentrate. All right, till next time.